Alright, we have come to this section where we will guide you on how to add representative for your My Invoice portal. So this is an optional step if you are the director. So sometimes director might not have the time to handle all this administrative stuff in your My Invoice portal. And probably you are owning a big company. You have your own financing to overlook all these processes for you. So you might want to add certain person in charge to represent you and log into the My Invoice portal to check out everything. Of course, this one applies to situations. It is an optional step. To do this, again, we log into our My Tax portal. Remember to switch the role selection to your company. After you switch, make sure you are the director of the company. Only the director is able to add this representative for your company. As long as you are not the director, you cannot do this. Once you are done switching this row, on the top right, click on the human icon, then click appointment of representative, click on IC number. You key in that person IC number that you want to add as representative. For example, this one, if my director would like to add me, as the representative of the company, so he will be keying my IC number over here and my information will appear below here. But this person must register himself at the MyTax portal first to say that this person exists. Once already key the IC number, click on submit button. You will need to key in your password to double confirm this action, then click on signature. A success message will appear and just click OK. Moving to my own my text. This is my individual login. When I click on the row selection, there is a director representative. As you can see, I'm representing TM Century Solutions. This is how you can add a person to represent your company so that the person can take in charge of things that is matter for e invoice and also your company text. That's all for this adding representative.